guys, so today I'm back with another DIY upcycling tutorial and I know I've been sewing a lot but I'm just kind of like in that mode where I want to sew and create article of clothing. That might shy away in a couple of weeks here because I get on this like sewing high and then I'm like, oh sewing is so terrible, I can't do it anymore. By the way, that little voice really does happen inside of my head. So today we're going to be making this shirt right here. Funky graphics in the front is inspired by like the Rorschach test because I think I'm going a little bit cray cray. If you want to learn how to make this cool print, you can check out Third Banger's video. Rob did an amazing job and there was no need for me to repeat it because Third Banger totally awesome. So basically, I'm going to show you how to use bias tape. And bias tape is the most magical thing you can ever buy at the craft store. And it just makes things so clean, so nice, and so expensive. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so my design is dried on my t-shirt. And you don't have to do this at all. I just wanted something weird on my shirt. And the link is down below if you guys want to check it out on how to do this. So I'm going to flatten out the shirt as much as I can and I start off by cutting off the two sleeves and then cutting off the neck and shoulders. I fold the shirt in half and using my own t-shirt as a template, I lay on top of the big shirt. Notice that I place the smaller shirt a bit higher up. Basically, the larger shirt is going to be placed where the chest is on my smaller shirt. <laughs> Now I just cut out the shirt. Keep in mind you'll want to halo it about an inch for stretch and for seam allowance. When you get to the sleeves, just cut out a curve for the armhole following your fitted t-shirt. You don't have to do this, but for me, I lowered the armhole so I can create funky straps later on. You can leave it as is if you're going to skip the straps. Now you're going to face your newly cut out shirts right sides together and sew up the side seams. Now here's the edumacational part. <laughs> You'll need some single folded bias tape. This is what it looks like. Notice the two raw edges folded into the center of the tape. You can technically make your own bias tape, but why even bother? It's just too much hassle and this is so much easier. Take your tape and open up just one side of the fold and you're gonna place that raw edge to the top raw edge of the wrong side to the front of your shirt. If you guys caught on with that, good job! But if not, you're gonna have to listen to this video again. So sew along the crease that is on the tape all the way across and cut off the excess tape. And this is what it's going to look like. You're now gonna fold the tape over the raw edge and sew right onto the tape straight across. And look how nice and clean that is. Go ahead and repeat that to the back of the shirt and now we can just work on the arm straps. So you're going to cut out a piece of tape that will fit around your arm and you're going to open up the raw edges completely on both sides and sew that down to create a circle. Flip your shirt inside out and have the under armhole facing you. Same deal, you're going to open up one side of the tape and pin that raw side to the raw edges of the armhole. Now you can attach the bias tape to the armhole by just sewing it down. Next, you're gonna fold the tape over the raw edge and sew along the edge of the tape. Now when you reach the part of the strap where it's no longer sandwiching the armhole, just fold it in half and sew along the edge. You're gonna reach the part where there is more armhole to sandwich. So just fold that over the raw edge and keep sewing until you meet the point you started at. Now go ahead and repeat that on the other arm. So the shirt is going to fit a little bit wonky at the chest and back. So to make it a little bit more snug, I'm gonna go ahead and sew a dart down the center front and center back. And to relieve it from bulk, I went ahead and cut off the excess fabric. Bias tape left over, I fold it in half and sew along the edges to create straps. I measure them out at the bottom of the armhole and I just sew them into place. Now if you didn't lower your armhole earlier, these straps will cut into your armpit and that would be very painful and quite uncomfortable. So now you're done and you guys know what it is, it's outfit time!
what did you guys think of the video? I hope you guys enjoyed it and remember if you like my videos to just actually like it down below that will totally make my day this arrow right here and then if you really want to make me happy you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I post every Sunday and Wednesdays oh be sure to go ahead and check out my Facebook Instagram Twitter because I'm quite interactive on there or I'm trying to be better at it and if you have a DIY that you just want to show off and be like hey KL look at me I DIY something too hashtag it with S L O A B N and I'll be sure to find it and comment it and I hope you guys have a Fabulous hump day. See you guys. Rock on day wires. Bye. Hey guys, meet my mom, the most amazing woman ever to have brought me into the world for you guys. So you kinda owe her a thank you. I oftentimes spend the night at my parents and we decided to film a mother and daughter nighttime routine. So first, I'm making mommy drink more water because as much as she caters to me hand and foot, she never takes care of herself. And I know for a fact she doesn't drink enough water. I actually watched her all day long with my own eyeballs.